What's up, Madden Team 25 Gamers? Welcome back to another Scheme of the Week breakdown. Today, we're talking all about red zone defense. To do that, we're actually going to be using the 4-3 uh, the under Mike Will Cross 3, one of my favorite plays in the entire game. We're going to show you how to bottle up a lot of the popular plays in the red zone. What we like to do with this is we like to uh, base a line. We like to press coverage. And then from there, we like to take uh, Patrick Chung here, who's in actually a deep blues, and we're going to put him into a hook zone. And then we're going to uh, man a line and then race a line. And you see how... They're now spreading out these yellow zones. Now you could leave these deep blue zones out there or you could put them in hook zones as well depending on what you want to do with that. Then I like to take D'Amico Ryans here, man him up on the tight end, and I'm going to user control D'Amico Ryans over the middle. Then if you have time, I like to really uh, re-blitz this defensive tackle over the right side of the center. Uh, does a nice job of getting some pressure. Here we're going to show you does a nice job against the 4-3 uh, or the strong close quick toss. Those hook zones, if you have time to get those hook zones on there, the hook zones are going to do a really, really good job uh, of containing that and almost shutting it down to an extent uh, out of that strong close quick toss. All right, guys, so that's a strong close quick toss. Now let's take a look at the strong close halfback dive. One of the you know, more popular runs in the game. And uh, remember, we're just going to go through. We're going to cycle through these guys, and we're going to re-blitz this defensive tackle. We're then going to hook zone the safety that's in the deep blue. We're going to man align, baseline, and press. Then if you want to, you can hook zone these guys on the outside here. And then finally, I like to take this linebacker, man him up on the tight end, user control him over the middle. Here I see it's a run. I'm just going to try to blow up that fullback, get inside there, and make a stop. And that's how I do it out of there. And then uh, what if they pass the ball? Well, you have really, really good coverage if they pass the ball. Here we're going to show you the Bucks wide trail, and we're just going to go over the same setups. And uh, I'll show you how fast I can get them in here, get those setups in quick and and uh, user control over here. And here you see these yellows uh, do a nice job. They may try to lob it up in the back of the end zone. Typically, these guys will take away the spots that they really want to go to on the red zone. And I uh, really, really like this uh, defense because it's got some pressure, but it's also got some coverage. It does a nice job of uh, and, you know just taking away what a lot of what people like to do. And then uh, the last thing that we're going to go over here, we're going to show you the halfback force. And uh, same basic setup. Everything's the same. Uh, we're just going to cycle through, make the setups here, and get it set up here. And you'll see here this halfback force. We're just going to uh, get through here and try to hold that up there. At that time, we didn't do a really good job of it. The key to stopping the halfback force, um, and if you know that the halfback force is coming, you'll want to take D'Amico Ryan's, put him in a flat zone on the outside there um, so that he can kind of swing out wide. And you can actually then... Uh, that frees you up to use her, uh, this safety Chung or this safety Allen. And uh, you can use her them, try to put it into this halfback force uh, crap, get out wide, get out wide, get out wide, contain, contain, force it back in, and you just, you know, that's the best you can do. That that's really is the best you can do against the halfback force. you got to force it back inside. If you allow them to get the edge, you're screwed, especially on the red zone. You're just hoping to get a block shed. That's kind of the main key uh, as far as I'm concerned with stopping it because, I mean, there are plays that really will shut it down, but they leave you so much more vulnerable to all the other options of this formation has to offer. If you, you know, if you know it's coming, obviously you would want to do that, but I try to teach more conceptually, and this is a basic principle as to how you want to contain uh, a pro formation in the red zone out of the Mike Will Cross. So, guys, this is our 4 3 under defensive scheme. We've shown you coverage defense, red zone defense, run defense, blitzes, all sorts of different things from the 4 3 under. Hopefully, you'll watch this uh, scheme this week in the game of the week, see how it dominates my competition, and uh, really does a nice job at uh, just doing a really good job at being a really good defense. And uh, mixing with up with this run heavy offense we've got in the Seattle playbook, it's going to be a great. Uh, week for Scheme of the Week. Be sure to leave your suggestions and questions in the comments below, and we'll talk to you guys next week.